Welcome aboard the Besetto Express. We'll cover three countries. Bay, Beijing in China. Sei, Seoul in Korea. And To, Tokyo in Japan. Together, we'll explore the culture of Besetto. All aboard the Besetto Express. There is always cheering in the world of victory and defeat. As sports have developed, people of each country have developed their own cheering styles. The three Beseto countries also have their own unique cheering culture. The unsystematic cheering culture of China in which one's emotions are revealed freely. The systematic and calm cheering culture of Japan. And the dynamic and vibrant cheering culture of Korea. Let's find out about the characteristics of the cheering cultures of the three Beseto countries. to express. As you just saw, I was just practicing with the cheerleaders before they perform. Of course it's fun watching a game, but if you cheer at the same time, it's that much more exciting. During the course of today's show, we'll be looking at the cheering cultures of Korea, China, and Japan. But first, let's find out what cheering really is and why people do it. Cheering is the act of heightening energy to the players through clapping or chanting. But most people who come to sporting events relieve their stress through mass and the systematic cheering. People feel alive through cheering with songs and actions along with other people. You can serve a triple purpose at once by watching your favorite players and looking at a heated match and releasing your stress. 경기장에 오면 아무래도 더 생동감이 있고 사람들이 응원을 하니까 집에서랑 틀리죠. 활동적일 수도 있고. Cheering is done for achieving victory and cheering directly affects the players. 분위기 조성을 하는 데 있어서 상당한 차이가 있고 또 하나는 그 무언의 압력이 될 수도 있지만은 심판이라든지 여러 면에서 끼치는 영향도 이 상당히 큽니다. 또 선수들 얘기 들어보면은 예, 관중이 없는 데서 응원이 없는 데서 하는 것과 응원이 있는 데서 하는 것은 상당한 차이가 있죠. 응원이 있으면 아무도 심바람 나고 더 잘해야 되겠다는 생각, 허설 플레이 막 이런 것들이 나오는 거죠. When watching any sporting event, it's natural to clap when the players do well and to feel sorry if they don't. Cheering is what makes the spectators feel as one with the athletes. Let's take a look at the cheering crowds of three base toe countries in action during soccer games. There are many professional sports in Korea, but the sport with the most fans is soccer. With the recent 1998 World Cup, the popularity of soccer is increasing rapidly. With young soccer players participating in the World Cup, the number of soccer fans has increased and their ages has also been lowered. Korean soccer is in its state of revival through these youngsters who express directly and actively what they like. Their frankness of expressing their emotions is being reflected in their exciting cheers. The best known cheering squad of Korea is the Red Devils. 
It's the nation's official cheering squad made by soccer-loving fans. The nickname for the Korean team that made a legend by advancing into the quarterfinals in the 1983 Mexico Teenage Soccer Championships became the name of the cheering squad among Korean soccer goers. In the beginning, the number of Red Devils was only about 100, but now it's over 15,000. What are the characteristics of the Red Devils? We are usually the leaders of the team, but the leaders of the team are the leaders of the team. The leaders of the team are the leaders of the team, and the leaders of the team are the leaders of the team. 동적이고 음률적이죠. 좀 생동감이 더 있다고 볼 수도 있죠. 산 문화를 응원을 한다고도 볼 수가 있겠어요. 사라트! The number of soccer fans in Japan started to increase after the start of the J League in 1993. As the J League gained more and more popularity, their cheers started getting more organized. The cheering culture of Japan maintains perfect order and is continued on for a certain duration of time. They cheer even when the game isn't going well for their side, and of course, they don't stop cheering when the players are playing well. The most distinct characteristic of Japan's cheering culture is the active and passionate activities of the supporters. Since the activities of the supporters are specialized and done systematically, many cheering materials, such as huge banners, are used. Most supporters in Japan are young in their age, but people of a variety of ages also actively participate. The cheering squad of Japan, opposite Korea's Red Devils, is Ultra Nippon. They started when a group of people got together to cheer for the Japanese team during the 1992 Hiroshima Asian Games. Ultra Nippon is also made up of various people united in their love for soccer, who put that into practice by cheering with united motions. Ultra Nippon is very important to us, and it's very important to us. It's very important to us, and it's very important to us. It's very important to us. Soccer is the most loved sport in China as well, and no other sport gathers more spectators. But in China's cheering culture, you can't find organized cheering squads like that of Korea or Japan. Ordinary spectators just express their joy and energy through their own voluntary motions. There is no distinction of sex or age among the cheering spectators, and their uniqueness is their varied range of age. Their cheers are also very simple. The most popular form is blowing horns during the games. Other than this, they use flags or drums to add energy to the teams they are cheering for. 관중들의 열기가 자연 발생적으로 분출이 된다. 비조직적이다. 좀 보기에는 굉장히 시끄럽고 좀 무질서한 듯한 그런 그 느낌을 주지만은. 그 자기 자신의 그 감정, 
이것이 부김 없이 잘 표출되는 그 문화가 아닌가 저는 그렇게 생각하고 있습니다. Cheering is similar in all three countries because in each country cheering is 100% voluntary. They only differ in style and methods. Let's go see just how different they are. The uniform number of all the members of Ultra Nippon is 12. But the Red Devils don't have uniform numbers. What is the story behind this number? 12と、あの、サッカー11人でやるスポーツじゃないですか。それでまあ、12番目の選手だよっていう意味を込めての12っていう数字なんですよ。それだけもうそうです。頑張ろうみたいな。僕らも12番目の選手だよっていう。そういう
Cheerleaders were originally formed to get the crowd more involved with the game. But nowadays, the cheerleaders have their own fans. The art form of cheerleading is a sport all in itself. So it's as much fun watching the cheerleaders as it is the actual game. Well, that just about does it for today's show, and I'll see you next time. Cheering is motion for victory. It's the second-hand experience of a sport giving courage and determination to the players. Korea, Japan, and China are all making their own cheering cultures according to their own national spirit. The shouts for victory and unified motions are the weapons only cheering can offer.